Hello, my name is Carla Sabota. I write documentation for the Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services product. In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a SQL Server Integration Services package that doesn't run when you call the package from a SQL Server Agent job step. The package does run successfully outside of SQL Server Agent. You'll learn the recommended methods for resolving this issue, including creating a proxy account, modifying the package protection level property setting, saving sensitive data in a package configuration file, and storing a package in the SQL Server MSDB database. As you can see, this job failed to execute the integration services package. When you call a package from a SQL Server agent job step and the package doesn't run, one of the following conditions is true. The user account that runs the package as a job step differs from the original package author, or the user account does not have the required permissions to make connections or to access resources outside the package. When the user account that calls the package from the job step differs from the original package author, the package protection level may prevent the package from running. This is because the user account either cannot decrypt the package or the package sensitive data, or the user account cannot provide the sensitive data that is missing from the package. Examples of sensitive data are the password part of a connection string, a variable that is marked sensitive, and other types of data. There are a couple of recommended methods for resolving issues with encryption and sensitive data. The first method is to store the package in the SQL Server MSDB database and set the protection level to rely on server storage and roles for access to control. You use the Integration Services service in SQL Server Management Studio to do this. So we'll expand the Integration Services service node, right click MSDB, and click Import Package. Because the package we're going to import is stored on the computer, I'll set Package Location to File System, and then navigate to the package. Now we need to change the package protection level. We're going to change it to Rely on Server Storage and Roles for Access Control. Click OK to save our settings, and then click OK again. Database roles now control read and write access to the package. You need to assign one of the integration services fixed database level roles, or assign a user-defined database level role to the reader role of the package. The fixed database level roles include the DB SSIS admin role, the DB SSIS LTD user role, and the DB SSIS operator role. In this demonstration, we're going to assign the DB SSIS admin role to the package. So we go back down here to Integration Services Service, right click the package click Package Roles. And in the Reader Role drop-down list, we'll select DB SSIS Admin. And then click OK to save our settings. The second method is to change the Package Protection Level Property setting to Encrypt Sensitive with Password. And we do this in Business Intelligence Development Studio. You access the Package Protection Level property by clicking anywhere in the Package Control Flow, and then selecting Protection Level in the Properties window. And there's the Protection Level property. And we'll change this to Encrypt Sensitive with Password. Next, you modify the SQL Server Agent Job Step command line to include the password that decrypts the sensitive data. You add the password using the decrypt parameter of the DTX command prompt utility. SQL Server Agent Job Step uses the DTX utility to run packages. So we switch back to SQL Server Management Studio. Now we're going to edit the properties of the job, navigate to Steps, and select the job step to edit it. 
and then we open the command line tab. We select edit the command line manually and then in this box we type the parameter. The third method for resolving issues with encryption and sensitive data is to change the package protection level setting to Don't Save Sensitive. Again, we do this using the Business Intelligence Development Studio. So we click anywhere in the package control flow, and then in the properties window, we navigate to the protection level property, and this time we're going to save it, change it to Don't Save Sensitive. With this property setting, the package is not encrypted and sensitive data is not saved with the package. Therefore, you use a package configuration file to save the de data. In this demonstration, we'll save the password part of a connection string for the Destination Connection OLDB Connection Manager. So we click on the SSIS menu and select Package Configurations. We make sure that Enable Package Configurations checkbox is selected and then click Add to add the package configuration file. This opens up the package configuration wizard. In this demonstration we're going to create an XML configuration file. and We're going to specify that the file is stored in the same folder as the package. and we're going to name the file Basic Package Configuration. Click Save, and then we click Next in the wizard. Now we need to select the password property in order to have it saved in the file. So you open up the Connection Manager's node and we're going to select the connection destination connection OLDB connection manager and then confirm that the password property is selected and then we click next and then click finish to finish creating the configuration file when the SQL Server agent job step runs the package the sensitive data is loaded from the configuration file that's been created be sure to store the file in a secured folder so far, we've looked at methods for resolving issues with encryption and sensitive data. The other condition that results in an agent job step failing to run a package concerns user account permissions. The user account does not have the required permissions to make connections or to access resources outside the package. To test the permissions of the user account, you open a command prompt window and execute the run as command. You replace my domain slash my user with the authentication information stored in the account credential. You type the password for the account when prompted. The recommended method for resolving the permissions issue is to create a SQL Server agent proxy account that has the required permissions. The proxy account also decrypts sensitive data in the package. Keep in mind that this method may fail if you move the package to another computer and the package protection level property is set to encrypt sensitive with user key or encrypt all with user key. To create a proxy account you must be a member of the sysadmin fixed server role or you must be a member of the SQL agent operator role, SQL agent reader role, or SQL agent user role in the MSDB database. You create a proxy account by running a Transact SQL query or by using the New Proxy Account dialog box in SQL Server Management Studio. We'll use the New Proxy Account dialog box. So we right-click Proxies and select New Proxy to open up the dialog box. 
On the general page, you specify the name and credential for the new proxy account. We'll name the account Package Proxy and select an existing credential called User1 that can contains the authentication information. Keep in mind that the selected credential must enable SQL Server Agent to run the job as the account that created the package or as an account that has the required permissions. You also need to specify the subsystem for which the proxy is enabled. Because the job is running a package, we'll select SQL Server Integration Services Package Subsystem. The proxy description is optional. On the Principles page, you can add or remove roles to grant access to the proxy account. Members of the sysadmin fix server role have automatic access. Now we'll click OK to save our settings. The User1 credential we specified for the proxy account is listed under, under the Credentials node in the Object Explorer. You can create a new credential by running a Transact SQL query or by using the New Credentials dialog box. You open the New Credentials dialog box by right-clicking Credentials and then selecting New Credential. This video demonstrated how to resolve issues with a package that doesn't run when called from a SQL Server agent job step. The video covered creating a proxy account, modifying the package protection level property setting, saving sensitive data in a package configuration file, and storing a package in the SQL Server MSDB database. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you have found this of value and will return to the website to view other Microsoft SQL Server videos.